everyone, my name is Sabrina. I am from Algeria and I speak Arabic, French, Russian, English and a bit of Spanish. So the pronunciation in Arabic is not as hard as you think, as long as you know how to pronounce each letter in the alphabet. I am able to speak Arabic since I am six years old because I was not born in Algeria, but I moved there when I was six and I learned it at school as a kid. It is important to learn the alphabet in order to pronounce Arabic well because all the letters have their own name, their own way of writing, and their own pronunciation, which is super important in order to pronounce all the words in the most correct way. So, now a little bit more about the Arabic alphabet. First of all, we write from the other side. Yeah, you heard that correctly. We start from the right and we end on the left. Second of all, with the Arabic alphabet, another quite interesting thing is that there are three things that you need to learn about each letter. The first thing is that each letter has its own pronunciation, pretty much as in any alphabet. The second thing is that it has its own name. And the third thing is that, well, you need to learn how to write it. The first letter is Elif, pronounces as A, A. The second letter is Ba, pronounces as B, B. The next one is Ta, pronounces as T, T. Next is th, pronounces as th, th. Then we have jim, pronounces as j, j. Next one is ha, pronounces as h, h. Next is kha, pronounces as h, h. Next is del, pronounces as d, d. Next is del, pronounces as the, the. Next we have ra, pronounces as r, r. Next we have they, pronounces as z, z. Are you still with me? All right, let's continue. Sin, pronounces as s, s. Shin, pronounces as sh, sh. Sad, pronounces as sa, sa. Dad, pronounces as da, da. Ta pronounces as th, th. Vad pronounces as v, v. Ain pronounces as r, r. Rain pronounces as r, r. We're almost there. Follow with me. Fa pronounces as f, f. Qaf pronounces as q, q. Kaf pronounces as k, k. Lam pronounces as L, L, Mim pronounces as M, M, Noon pronounces as N, N, Ha pronounces as H, H, Well pronounces as W, W, Ya pronounces as Y, Y. And then there is one that's not really a letter, but we still need to learn it. It's called Hamza, which would be the same sound as Oh, oh, in English. Another fun fact about Arabic is that all the letters that I have just taught you are all consonants. Now you might think, how do we actually speak if there are no vowels? The tricky part here is that there are only three sounds that we use in order to form words. And these three sounds are A, U, I. Now, there are two ways to pronounce them, the short version and the long version. Let me teach you about the different parts in order to pronounce the words in Arabic. Starting from the sound U. On each letter, if we want to pronounce it with the sound U, we write Dhamma, and that would be the short version. Now, if we want the sound U to be pronounced U, we write after the letter well, which would be pronounced U, like in Mu, Nu. Now, for the sound A, we write something that is called Fetha which is kind of like a dash, fetha, on each of the letters. Now, if we want the sound to be long, we add the elif, which would be a uh, in comparison to a, uh, a. Uh. And the last one, the sound i, we write under the letter a kisra, which is also a dash, same as the previous one, but it comes under the letter and it makes the sound i, i. Now, if we want the sound to be long, we add ya, which would be e, like ni, fi. 
And last but not least, if we want the letter to just have a sound like n, k, m, we write a little circle that's called sukun, sukun, and it comes on top of the letter. And something that's not really a sound, not really a vowel, but we still use it, it's in order to double one consonant, and that is called shidda. So, for example, in the word shidda, we would write the shidda on top of the d, shidda, double the consonant, d, d. Now that you know all the components of the Arabic alphabet, as well as the different ways to pronounce things without really having vowels, this is where the tricky part comes with Arabic. People who speak Arabic are from different countries and have different dialects. However, it all comes down to one alphabet and it is the one that we're learning right now. It is very important to know the different sounds that each letter makes in order to pronounce each of the words in the most correct way. Now with all this alphabet sounds pronunciation tips that I have just taught you, please do not be discouraged in learning Arabic. I know it may sound weird to start writing from the other side, it might sound tricky to not have vowels as what you might have been used to in your mother tongue. However, it is not as hard as you think. As long as you pay attention to the different sounds, you try to be as close as possible to the pronunciation and you put your mind into learning all the new words, I am sure you can do it. Good luck! See you in the next video.